Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. For the first time in a week, I will be exiting my homestead and going out into the world for the start of a new series where I just go into the areas of Orange County, California, maybe even into LA, and it will be a progression to get food, to see what is open for walk-in, for takeout. Things are starting to progress a little, and I like to eat. I'm gonna head down to the Orange Circle momentarily and take you along with me. If you so choose, I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Just need to put my shoes on there, and I'm taking all this along with me inside the satchel is something I can lay on the ground picnic style because a lot of places are not available to eat indoors and this this little Route 66 throw rug spreads out vastly also have some sanitizer a couple masks extra batteries and these Lysol wipes you know just in case you never know what I will what I will witness. It is an odd feeling to have tennis shoes on again. It's the first first time in a, a few days. I have arrived to the historic district. Now I have never regarded myself as much of a food reviewer. I, li I do like to consume stuff into the belly, but this whole thing is going to be a, a little bit new, a new experience. I think it'll be fun. I'm just basically going to show what is accessible and open for takeout or drive through, whether I can walk to it, whether I can ride a bike, whether I can get in my car and drive to said places, show where they are, do a little, eat a meal, give my honest opinion, and then, but in doing so, finding a spot to just kind of camp out that is allowed to camp out and chow down. And I'm not really sure the policy on these, but I'm gonna wear them until I'm eating or until I'm nowhere near any other folks. Oh wow, looks like Starbucks has opened its doors as well. Last time I was down here, that wasn't the case. Things are moving forward. Even have the little blocks down here for you know, the spacing out. Now I probably on some of these episodes will meet up with friends, not a large congregation, just a few, and we will keep our distance of sorts. But it's good to get out. I always like this little painting down here. This little mural on the metal. That's a metal wall. I was informed recently by a few folks that the neon sign that used to be here at this former location is gonna go back up. Even though the location is not gonna return, that historic sign there that used to be dangling from the end will return soon. I hope that's true. Oh, this is good news. The barber shop is open as well as some of these antique stores. Heck yeah. It is really good to see all this, I gotta be honest. Very good to see. Where I'm gonna be sitting is pretty obvious, right over there in the middle of the circle next to the fountain. Now there are a lot of places down here open for business, so this might be a recurring location. However, for this episode, it revolves around Watson's Soda Fountain and Cafe, which is open. One of the many things I love about this area and this neighborhood, look at this classic vehicle right there. Just cruising by the subject at hand. If you look down in there, tucked away against the wall, there is some documentation of said films and whatnot, including bench warmers, that thing you do, and quite a few other ones. Not all of them are listed are listed on there. Even a, even a Burt Reynolds episode of a movie. Normally there are tables out front, but they have kind of festooned the area with a lot of this classic nostalgia in the table's place. And look who decided to join the party, you know, from uh, moderately from afar. All the way from, oh, all the way from, I almost said Venice, but you guys are in Malibu. <laughs> Come on, Mickey Mouse. Oh, I have a Mickey Mouse shirt. Let's, let's, get, out this, let's get out of this gentleman's oh, yeah, way. Now, I don't know if you guys are down, but I was looking at Watson's here. What do you guys think about, about tagging along for a little... Ooh, 
I, you know what? I'm always a fan of a picture menu. It's got yes. me already. I'm good. I'm ready. Okay. It doesn't look like this place is, is quite open yet. You have to be patient. Yeah, as for the order. So, but I'm not patient. I need to get excited to enjoy myself. I live a bit of the life of the Florida here. You have to wait and enjoy yourself and otherwise. I would find a way. I'm Patrick Pavor. I find a way to have a good time around anybody. Bring the bring the good vibes, Patrick Pavor, I say. Adam the Woo is here in the art circle. I come to join him today with the best of my knowledge for things I know nothing of. They should hire you as, a, as the mascot. Well, you know, things... I'm busy at Disneyland. This is one of my breaks. I, no one's there right now. So I where where, do you, where are you at Disneyland? I live in Adventureland at the entrance to uh, Indiana Jones. Oh, in the tree. In the little, yes, little... I have a little tree right there. Come visit me. You're anytime. the little tree guy. Yes, I am very much And so. during all this, you have nothing to do. So you're just out and about. I have nothing to do, sir. All right. I must come out and... I think this people. I think this joke has run its course. I think it has. <laughs> yep, even the... What, the RCA dog, That's you said? The RCA dog, The RCA yeah. pooch is protected. Show us where to stand, Binky. Right there on the X. You gotta be on the X, Binky. You don't. St <laughs> you, have, you have to be on the X. No, you're going the wrong way. I might have to come back up here in the not so distant future and get my hair cut. This barber shop is also open. Someone's in there right now getting a trim. That is what I'm talking about. You just like, I don't think there's ever been a time I've been out here and I have not seen a classic car like this just cruising through the plaza slash circle. And there he is, Dylan. Made it. He has made it. And you said it's, you were saying off camera it's been 10 years since you've been down to the Orange Circle? Yeah, it's been quite a while. We were here a long time ago for my little brother because he was at Chalk Hospital, so it, like occasionally we'd come over here, but it's been like 10 years since I've been down here. All right, it is now time to order. I gotta go look at a menu. I don't. I guess I could have done that ahead of time, but I'm gonna go look at a menu and get a little takeout. Now there's a company I've never heard of, Dorns. Dorns Mountain Bartlett's. I guess that would be some sort of some sort of citrus and above it is salmon fresh salmon in that packet all right i've stepped forward just a little bit now and it, sh it says here that also don knotts shelly hack and jimmy smiths even president george bush stopped off here for one of the famous malts check this out it's like an old switchboard for a telephone this place has a very classic vibe over in this corner are some framed some framed paraphernalia of some classic photos and that thing you do poster. Here's the plaza circa 1922. Meal is being prepared as we speak. Decided to just step outside and enjoy the fresh air while I waited. A few old school medicine bottles here behind this glass case. Did you say it almost feels normal? Yeah. Uh, get closer. Yeah. Like both were like, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those interesting feelings that when you know the food is almost ready, the hunger heightens, it grows. I am, I am ready, I am hungry, definitely hungry. Just as I was stating, there goes, there goes another one. Cars are awesome. I know, they're just everywhere. Look at that. I have my grenadine filled Coca-Cola with cherries in there. Old school soda, I'm using the word old school a lot today. Old school soda fountain style. As you can tell, have my bag full of goodies here, equipped with plastic silverware, napkins, and all the delectable edible items. Finding a little grassy section. I'm gonna use the side of this tree as a little back support. Pull out the blanket, and my picnic area will be right about here. This really does cover a lot of space on the ground. This Route 66 little throw. Oh, that's a little too much. And this is what I'm dealing with. I got the fries. I got, looks like there's some, there's a lot of cheese, some guacamole on there, some bacon perhaps wrapped up in this newspaper. Oh yeah, this, this looks, <laughs> I gotta try to move my leg over the top of this. Eat in the middle. I have to use my, I'm gonna use the zoom here. Going in. Bacon avocado burger. That's what I got. I got the Old Town. Is that kind of the same thing? Similar. Kind of. I wonder what the difference is. Is it avocado the same as guacamole? No. It, well, it's made out of, guacamole is made out of avocados, right? Is that the same? No, but guacamole 
has, where'd Binky go? Okay. Binky has, I mean. Binky has guacamole <laughs> on her breath. Guacamole has like tomatoes and. Uh, but it's made from. From avocado. Okay. Yes. So I have avocado on here. Yeah, and he may have. And you, so we got the same thing, but mine's called the Old Town. But I know when he ordered it, he didn't say Old Town. So no, I wonder one. what is different. Maybe the sauces are different. At this point, I'm not really concerned with it because it looks tasty no matter what it is. <laughs> it could be anything way, right now. Pretty... Oh, wait. I ordered tots. So and I got I. fries. Are you you got sure? tots, yes. I got fries. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What? What? Wait, do I have yours? Yeah, because that does kind of look like the old town. Yeah, what is? What is happening? I think so they I may have mixed it up. Yeah, I got tots. At this point, okay. it doesn't really matter. I'll just eat what I have. <laughs> you have eat what you have. Spencer eat what he has, and Katie will eat what she has. And I don't yeah. even remember. We'll call it a day. I think I also ordered fried pickles, which I. Did they not put it in the bag? Aww. But it's fine. I'm gonna go back there, over there afterwards and get the fried pickles. Yeah. There's yeah, a lot can. going on. That'll be my dessert. Ooh. Get a malt too. And then I could get something else, like a malt. I'm gonna get a malt. I'm probably gonna get another strawberry sandwich. Yeah, yeah, I think you got my out. <laughs> you think I did? Yeah. This is yours. This has a uh, lettuce, tomato, you onion. Wanna switch them or not? I'm fine. Cool. Are you cool? I can eat this. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Right. Look at that burger. You ready? This is beautiful. Let me know. I, I ordered it for you. Dylan and I have decided that I got his meal and he has mine, but it's too late now because we've already touched the bread. Right. I'm going in. I don't know what. The, there's a fry on there. Dude, this looks so good. Mm. <laughs> Dylan, you your think? burger is so good. <laughs> Pretty good. I'm going to try yours now. <laughs> Okay, here we go. She looks very amused. <laughs> She's very proud. <laughs> How's Adam's burger? Oh man. How's my burger doing? <laughs> Yours is Your delightful. Is pretty good. That was a good burger. Mm. Did you get it medium? Or what did you order? It? <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny that orders got switched. I honestly don't remember. Man, this is good. <laughs> What is that you're holding, Katie? It's called a paper boy, so it has turkey, bacon, avocado, Swiss cheese, and uh, ranch. All right. I like that I actually remembered what was on. Dig in. I'm really utilizing the Zoom. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Mm -hmm. It's turkey and ranch? Turkey, ranch. It's like a turkey club. Yeah. Yeah. Just no uh, tomato, though. What do you got going on here, Spence? I also got the paper boy. I too. I too have procured the paper boy. What if like when you order that they threw it at you? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, like the old school paper boy. <laughs> Here's your paper boy right there. Right there, right there. Oh man, you're eating that like a carnivore. <laughs> like a T-Rex. I'm a carnivore for life right now. What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> Macaroni bites. Okay, those are okay. Those are little fried bites full of macaroni. Oh yeah. Oh. Care to try when I, I'm reaching? My, I'm really zooming far. in way far. I Hold on, it's like I'm <laughs> zooming in so far. I can toss one to you. How about that? Toss one over. All right. Um, toss it over there. Okay, hold on a second. Watching the camera. Later. I'm gonna zoom. I gotta zoom out. I mean. Uh, so much don't touch me. Got it. Oh yes, that's like a, that's like a chicken nugget. What if it's a fried pickle? That might be a fried. Maybe these are my fried pickles. Okay. Try it. These are, this is mac and cheese. Oh, mm. Mm. Is there bacon in there? I tasted that. There was oh. like a bacon pizza. Box. I feel like there was cheese whiz in there. Kind of has a bacon flavor. Cheese? Mm. cheese whiz? Yeah, I taste cheese whiz. You know the stuff in the. Oh, the stuff in the sh You get my cheese whiz, boy? That's how it comes out. I didn't taste the cheese whiz. You didn't? Try another one. You're saying not just cheese, but cheese whiz. I feel like Like cheese. the brand? Yeah. You know? <laughs> there's something to be said about your thought on that. <laughs> yeah. You taste it? I think so. Gee whiz. 
<laughs> That's not normal cheese. That is, I think you might be right, that might be cheese for us in there. At least it tastes like it. I stand behind my cheese whiz steak. It's not a bad thing. I will, I will eat some cheese whiz. I'm going to attempt to do an accurate food review. Normally I just eat the food and say, I just try to stay kind of in the middle area, but I'm gonna give, this, since I'm doing food reviews, I have to say that that was not, that was not the best hamburger I ever had. But a little asterisk is because I ate Dylan's hamburger. And I don't think yours was cooked the way. So I, I ordered mine medium well. How would you order yours? Medium. So you ordered yours medium. Mine was a little rawer than I would have. So I cannot accurately say that this review is, is perfect. But that's what I thought. It wasn't the best burger, but it wasn't the worst. And I need to go back and get my fried pickles, which I think are still probably back over there at the counter. Okay, that's my review. I either want a malt <laughs> or I want pie malt. Oh, I'm still recording. Don't leave anything back. Give me the full thoughts on what, on what okay. you ate. So, Chicken Club uh, was... Sorry. Chicken Club? So the Turkey Club was really good. Turkey Club. I, I enjoyed it. It was called a paper boy. Maybe a little too bready. Because uh, it was kind of like Texas. Are you stuff. ready for bready? Are you ready for bready? <laughs> so yeah, I, I uh, it wasn't the best. Poor boy, what is it? Poor paper boy. It's pretty good. Your, your burger was really good. So you had, see, okay, so you give my review what I would say about my burger. That was, that was cooked pretty well. I, I'm more of a medium kind of guy, I guess, though, so. So it was a little more well cooked than what? Bad. Okay. But, uh, I think the flavors were great. great yeah. Burger. Mine wasn't bad, it just could have been cooked a little more. But that's because you ordered for my burger. Yeah. You it's like. There you go. I thought it was delicious. And I would say the opposite of Spence. I thought the bread was just enough. I actually just too much meat. Too much meat, not enough bread. All right, it's not just one review. It was the, I'm zoomed in. Why am I zoomed in so far? <laughs> it's not just one review. It's the four of us. I, I didn't, well, where, here we go. I was trying to do the. There we go, look at that. Okay, lean in here, there you go. Oh, I almost forgot. There's five of us. Binky, how was your how was your little little snackade? <laughs> she ate a lot. Okay. Is that a food coma? I can't tell. Uh, she's falling asleep. Yep. Oh, she's dozing off. Oh my gosh, we're witnessing this. She's in a food coma. Oh, oh, you woke her up. Made it back over to see what happened to my fried pickles and see if maybe I could switch them out for a shake of some sort. See if they see if they approve of that. And they did. Oh yes, that looks delicious. That's gonna do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. It helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future uploads here on this channel. Take it a step further, ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know you care. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. It's pretty awesome. Oh, 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 the ghost. <laughs> Talk to you too. The Hi, ghost. Ghost. <laughs> that is awesome.